Hello and welcome to this tutorial for how to install and run the Beam NG multiplayer mod. First thing you're going to head to beamng-mp.com and then you will just click to download the client. That'll download a zip file. Double click on that and run the installer and that will get you into uh, the game. Now, before you can actually start the game, you've got to go to uh, discord.com. I'm sorry, discord.gg slash beammp and join their discord because that is required in order to play the game and you have to have discord running before you can double click on the desktop icon so to run the multiplayer you'll have the launcher installed on the desktop you simply double click that that is going to bring open a kind of a dos like window and it will update the client, it'll uh, check for mods, it'll do some other things, and then it is going to launch the Beam NG Drive multiplayer version. You see here it says Play MP, so that's how you know you are in the multiplayer version. And you simply click that button, and uh, it should present you with a list of the servers that are available. If the list is empty, just click on main menu and quit out of the game. Then go back, uh, double click the launcher to get back in and that should populate this list. Now down the left hand side, you have the location. So this is by country. So you see uh, uh, Canada, the US, France, Netherlands, you know, all kinds of places. In the middle, these are the descriptions of the server. Um, and then over on the uh, right hand side, you have the actual map that is being played on that particular server. You also have a list of the players. The first number is how many are currently playing. The second number is the maximum number. So there is 21 out of 420 or nine out of 12, what have you. Um, also, by the way, uh, most servers have a Discord link, so you can actually join the Discord and uh, you can voice chat while you're playing. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to find a map that you want to play. Uh, when you click on it, uh, it'll list any of the mods that are uh, attached to it and your computer will download those mods once you uh, connect to that particular game. So that's one of the things you want to look out for. Some of these maps have gigabytes worth of mods mods attached to them. Uh, I like to find one that has no mods. So uh, you see here's one here that has zero bytes. And uh, in this case, it looks like there are seven people playing. Uh, you also notice that when there are people in it, you can see who is playing. So if you can check and see, you know, if you've got uh, people that you know, or friends that you've made, see if uh, they're playing, what have you. So uh, if I pick one of these, um, actually, uh, we'll do this one. That's fine. Uh, you'll see here it has like 70 megs worth of mods. Uh, I've played this one before. So when I hit connect, uh, it's actually going to be a pretty quick launch. All right. Now, one of the problems that you have when you first jump in the game, um, first of all, it's... There we go. It's trying to uh, load things up. Um, but you will spawn in like the weirdest places. Uh, and you may actually be spawned inside another vehicle. So what you want to do is once the game gets loaded, you can see the names of the folks that are out there. Um, what I generally like to do is kind of move off to the side. And then you're going to pull up the vehicle selector uh, menu. In this case, uh, I'm going to jump over here to vehicles. And for this particular case, um, I don't know, I'll grab a D series disappointment. Just why not? And you're going to hit spawn new. Now at this point, I have chosen this pickup truck and I could drive around and go find the other folks. Oh, there's a light pole there. <laughs> Sorry, it's, that's what I get for trying to drive without paying attention. Because, you know. Alright, anyway. Uh, you'll notice that there is a chat box down at the bottom. Uh, you can click in there and type uh, a chat message if you want to. One of the, kick, one of the uh, catches about the chat box is that you have to make sure that you get your mouse out of the check box. Uh, in order to drive again if you're using a keyboard and mouse such as I am. 
You'll also notice that at the top center, it lists the server, tells you where you are, tells you how many players are there, and also shows you the ping. So just some information uh, that's available to you. On the right-hand side, you can click Show Players, and it will give a list of the players. Uh, there's an option there for TP. I, I don't know what TP is, and I've never clicked it. And honestly, I don't want to with people I don't know because I don't know <laughs> what it does. But anyhow, uh, there's an option there for TP, uh, whatever that is. But there you can see there are the folks that were uh, inside. Oh, by the way, you will see... <clears throat> Anytime that someone enters the game, changes vehicles, that kind of stuff, the game will briefly pause uh, while that happens. So you should be aware of that. Also, uh, some people have been known to spawn inside the vehicle you're driving. So just be aware of that too. Most of the times it's just accidental. There's a, they're just trying to figure stuff out. Um, but sometimes people do it just because, you know, they're trying to be jerks about stuff. And there's you go. You can see that the dude, whoever, somebody is spawning. They're changing their vehicle a lot. Uh, when you're going to change vehicles, it's uh, the idea, what you're supposed to do is make sure that you remove your current vehicle. Now, the problem is <clears throat> that's going to automatically attach you to another vehicle. So you want to separate from that and find you a place to spawn in. Uh, your next vehicle so you jump in here and let's just grab this and let's just say we pod put in a destroyer cuz why not all right when you are ready to change maps just hit escape exit out of that map and then you can go back into play MP and look down the server list and decide which one you want to do. Uh, if you're done all together, then uh, what you want to do is go back to the main menu option and then you just uh, exit the game and that's it. That is how you do Beam NG Drive multiplayer. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you'll know when new vids get posted. I'd appreciate it if you liked and shared the video too. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Hero of God GamerGall for supporting me on Patreon. Hey, I've got a couple of videos here you might be interested in. You can check those out and, well, we can hang out for a bit more here on David and Ark. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.